Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition, of course. Uh, on this run, we're going to be doing a Lanius run, specifically to get this one last achievement with the ship. Loss of... Let me mouse over there properly. Loss of cabin pressure. Get to Sector 8 without your ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20% starts after the first jump. So basically... From the first beacon, open up all the doors on the ship except for, you know, whatever room you have your non lanius crew in, and try to make it to Sector 8 without having your oxygen level get up above 20%. Now, I was thinking that maybe this would be easier with the crews because you have internal sensors. You might be able to see if you are getting oxygen aboard your ship. Maybe you can see that uh, a room is not being oxygenated, and that might trigger you to check your doors, open your doors to the outside. But thinking about it, I think I actually just like the Shrike as a ship better. It starts with a teleporter, and with the two Lanius crew members, with the mind control system, you are very, very strong offensively for boarding. You have the advanced flak gun, which is a one power flak gun. And, you know, this gun can be on any ship. This gun is fantastic. It's basically a cheaper flak gun, so, you know, if you, you can use this on Sector 7, Sector 8, even if you have 7 weapon power, you can, just, you can just get one more and use the advanced flak gun. You know, if you have a flak gun Mark II or a glaive beam, I really don't see this gun ever being sold. Uh, Kruos, on the other hand, has a chain laser, which I don't necessarily like because it takes 16 seconds to fire the first shot. And the ion stunner is pretty good, but it is slow for an ion weapon. So, you know, I think I just like the Shrike better. So why don't we try a run with the ship and see how far we can get while maintaining this achievement. Basically, oxygen level 89% dropping because I'm moving the Lanius around. What we've got to do is open all the, all the doors except for the pilot because I'm going to be having the NG pilot the ship. And oxygen is now at 6%. So 6%... You know, if we, op if we keep one more room closed, that should allow us to get to 12% oxygen. One more room closed should allow us to get to about, what, 18% oxygen? And at that point, you know, we'll have three crew members aboard our ship. And we'll see if we can make it work. If we can get crew members, I'm going to have to find rooms for them that don't get the oxygen level too high. But maybe if we can pick up some additional Linus, we don't have to worry about that. I don't know. Let's see if we can make it work. I think I got pretty close on a previous run and I ac accidentally left the doors closed because we were hacked, but I might just be remembering that wrong. And that's okay. Got some free fuel from this encounter. It's not too bad. Or no, we spent fuel and we got a free reactor upgrade. That's not too bad. I would have preferred scrap or maybe even sector scans, but that's okay. All right, engines offline. I'm gonna have to get the NG into the engine room to get it fixed. And while that's happening, the Lanius are just going to board and hopefully take their weapons offline. With the mind control, this should be pretty easy. He's just going to attack the engines. Would have preferred he attacked another system, but that's okay. NG needs to get into the piloting room. I kind of forgot about that. We are going to get hit by the missile, but that's okay. It only does one damage. And we are really wounded already. <laughs> How did we take so much damage? One, two, three, four, four. We've already taken four whole points of damage? How did that happen? Oh, right, three whole points from the encounter. I was thinking, we're really hurt. How did that happen? But no, it's just because of the encounter. That's okay. Shields are down. That's got to get fixed. It will get fixed, though, because the Lanius will destroy their weapons, and with their weapons being down, I can take my time to uh, destroy the ship. This is not a good first encounter, though. This is actually kind of terrifying, but we should survive. We've taken eight hull points on the first beacon, which is not very good to start out with, but it's all right. We'll make it work, potentially. My crew is getting beat up. Um, my crew are not going to be very good boarders until I can pick up a better clone bay. Or, ooh, we picked up a, a weapon. This makes up for the damage we took. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, we definitely need to... Oxygen level's at 9% because the door's in the engine room. Gotcha. Um, we definitely need... To, what am I saying here? Uh, we definitely need a clone bay or a med bay or, uh, you know, teleporter 
reconstructive teleporter augment, something that allows us to uh, heal our Lanius because they are not going to survive very long while I am boarding with them. And that's going to be a big problem. It's going to be a big problem because for a while we're basically going to be relying on them for all of our damage, at least until we can get the Pike Beam online. And I would love to get that Pike Beam online. It's going to be a very big part of our strategy before not too long. First bar weapons, though, does take 40 scraps. We're going to need about 65 before we can get that online. So we're probably not going to get it online for quite some time. First 35 scrap is probably going to go into the clone bay. Just to keep that online in case it gets hit. Second bit of scrap is going to go towards the shields to give us some more defense while we let our Lanius board the enemy ship and do damage. You know, I, I do like getting these reactor upgrades, but at this point I need scrap so I can upgrade my ship. I have too much power, I have nothing to actually, you know, use it with. Uh, I'm definitely definitely going to attack this ship. We can take it out super easily with the Lanius. Since they don't need oxygen, they can just take out the weapons. Hopefully NG can keep us uh, dodging the missile, but they actually took their missile offline, which is perfect. I do need to get my advanced flak online so that I can actually uh, shoot it at some point. I do want to get the Lanius trained up in combat if I can though, so I'm, I'm just going to let them destroy the ship components. You know, destroy the piloting, destroy the engines, then beam them back. They can destroy the engines really quickly. I, I, I do want to destroy it with the flak gun so that they don't lose their training because their HP is okay for right now, but I also do want them to get training. And so right now, Stick is now level two in combat. That's probably good enough. Send in the flak. You know, I, I don't want them to bring their weapons online, get their, their missile launcher online and then hit me once. So I'm very glad that I decided to use the flak when I did. Okay, 15 scrap plus nine scrap and a drone. That's kind of excellent because that is 25 scrap that we can sell whenever we want. Okay, good. With the clone bay upgrade, we're going to get, what is it, like 16 HP per jump. That's a lot better than 8. Hopefully it means that we can eventually get our crew up to a pretty high amount of health and do some substantial damage to the enemy ship here. Uh, we're going to board them in the shield room because I realize now that with the mind control, it's probably best to get everyone into one room because then we can have kind of a three-on-one encounter here or th three-on-two and my crew you know reduce the oxygen keep them busy their shields are going to go down um i do need to take out their clone bay though so let's get my crew over there get this clone bay offline who is wounded stick stick you're fine uh, the big problem here... Oh, they actually boarded, that's why. The big problem here is that if my crew die, the Ion Pulse could take out the clone base. So I gotta be very careful with that. Ideally, we just take out their... Uh, get out of the room, would you? Ideally, we just take out their... Oh my god, get out of the piloting room. Get out of the pi... Oh, Christ almighty. Ideally, we just take out their clone bay and then their crew dies very easily. I just, I don't want my guys to die, because if my guys die, we've got a big problem. Get back into the piloting room. Uh, no need to use the flak. Just destroy the clone bay and then we can kill their crew. They've, they're repairing their shields. It look, no, the shields are coming back online because of the uh, ionization, of course. We have the uh, mind control, though, so we can just mind control one of their crew, wherever they are. Not that guy, because he's dead. And there they died. Okay. So we didn't take any hull damage there. That's, that's nice. We killed their crew, got as much of a payout as we could. I'm going to wait for the teleporter to come back online, because I don't think that its cooldown resets when we jump, because we're in danger. I could be wrong about that. I'm still not entirely sure how this works. If it has to be a ship that you're fighting, that uh, means that your cooldowns don't come offline. But regardless, we're just going to uh, jump since everything's good now. Our, our crew's substantially wounded. That's something that we're going to have to deal with. And we can deal with that here because we can just send over our crew, hack their weapons. Well, not hack their weapons, but destroy their weapons. See, this is something I've got to be very careful about. Them hacking my doors means that I've got to constantly be opening up 
or yeah, opening up all my doors because they're going to constantly be shutting down. So I've got to be very careful about how I really deal with this. I've got to be very careful to make sure that I'm paying attention to my own shield system. Not shield system. <laughs> Door system. Words today are just not working out for me. I'm going to keep my crew over there, though, get some more combat training. Their weapons don't bother me all that much, so what I might want to do is just kind of hang out here, farm some experience. It's not that bad of an idea. I could just kind of, like, go get a drink, come back in a minute, and hopefully we'll deal some combat damage to these guys. They're not trying to escape, so, you know, let's take my time. Might as well open the door room because their hacking system is destroyed temporarily. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I will get Luan T up to level 8 of 8 on combat, and then we're just going to get out of here. No need to micro it that much. Okay, open all doors except for the piloting, please. Might as well send out, send out one shot with the advanced flak. It's going to take a couple of shots to actually kill this ship. That's okay. Just kind of auto-fire on their shields. The thing about the flak is that it actually does have to land, and it's very inaccurate. But once we get the pike beam online, it should be pretty good, because the flak is good at taking down shields, just because it fires so many shots. Three for one power. That's that's No other weapon has that much value, I don't think. There we go. Shields are down now. So we just need to fire once more, maybe at piloting, or engines, or weapons. Doesn't really matter where we fire, because one shot will kill them. 10 scrap plus another 18. Good, we have 47. Not quite enough for the next shield bar. And I do want to hold off until I can get the shields online, because we picked up so many free reactor upgrades. I feel like, I feel like getting that next bar of shields is just a good move. Okay, we're gonna board them, board them in their weapons room, mind control one of their crew. Rockman's gonna run out into the engine room. That's fine. Uh, over, oh no, get out of there. Swap your guys' positions around. This is fine because he's gonna leave. We're gonna be able to take out their weapons. We're gonna get hit here. That just had to happen just because we couldn't deal damage fast enough. That's okay. Just get out of here, dang Rockman. I am trying to keep my crew alive. I would like for them not to die, but if they have to die, they have to die. Okay, take out the weapons. I do need to get the oxygen repaired, but NG can survive long enough. He's not in any real risk right now. Uh, let's go into the engine room. We know the crew is there trying to get stuff repaired. We know they're low on HP. And they're dead. And Rockman's dead. We pick up three fuel and 19 scrap. So. Lanius, go get the oxygen system repaired while we upgrade our ship and get the next bar of shields. Because with shields up to level two, you know, the occasional laser shot and beam won't be able to take down our shields. We'll be not quite as vulnerable to single shot ions. It's just better for us, you know? I might want to actually get the next clone bay upgrade as soon as possible because that 25 HP per jump could could be a lot. It could be fantastic for us to get. No, don't walk through the piloting room. Oh, that's why oxygen's actually depowered. It's like you, they're being rude. They walked through the pilot's room and like, hey, how's it going? <gasps> it's okay. <gasps> All right, jump to the exit. Yes, but there is a good big nebula here. I would love to explore it. Go to a few more beacons and then Then maybe get some more payouts out of the sector. Hmm. Let's go to the exit and bounce around the nebula a couple times. I can upgrade the piloting system with four more scrap. There's nothing here. I guess exit beacon in a nebula. Well, no, no you can get you can get events from an exit beacon in a, in a nebula. I'm wondering why we didn't get one here. Four more scrap and I can upgrade the piloting system. And with that, be able to get blue event options for uh, certain nebula encounters. We didn't we didn't get that though. We didn't get anything here, but that's okay. I could get like a couple more beacons. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna leave. We are going to go to... The Uncharted Nebula. I've 
kind of changed my mind about these Uncharted Nebulas recently. There are some good beacons you can get to that can give you free equipment if you just understand what you need to do. So like if, it, if it's a pirate at a beacon and it's kind of like trying to be, you know, out of the way, you can board them, kill their crew, get some free equipment out of it because they are transporting something. So I, I might, you know, look out for those encounters here and pick up some free equipment if at all possible. So they're, they're gonna hack us. They have a weapon and a bomb. I'm gonna go out on their engines. Destroy their engines, destroy their shields, I guess, and maybe keep them from escaping. Although I might just want to go out on the piloting instead. It's a little bit more guaranteed to work. Clone Bay being hacked doesn't bother me at all. We can deal with that. We can't open the doors, but that's okay. So Flak just kind of auto-fire in. Missed all of its shots, but that's okay. And now that the piloting system is destroyed, we can just retreat. The ship is not going to get away. Good, the bomb didn't actually go out. Might as well just send the Elanis in there. Keep the oxygen down by just standing in the room. And a couple more shots with the flat gun will kill them. If they ever get the piloting system back online, I'll shoot for it, but they should be dead here pretty quickly. Yeah, they do have the piloting back online, so let's take one more shot at it. It would suck if they escaped. I don't think they'll escape. I think we'll be fine here. Ooh. It's looking a little bit close. If I have to beam aboard to stop them, I will do it. There we go. Piloting's now destroyed again. Okay. Dodge chance, 10%. This NG needs to uh, either get better or we need to upgrade our engines pretty soon here because 10% dodge chance is not very good. 26 scrap. What are we going to upgrade next? Probably, honestly, dodge chance. We have extra reactor power, so why don't we just upgrade it and get it done with? Having said that, I am going to get the piloting system upgraded first, just because we're in a nebula, and if we get a blue event option, I would like to take it, if at all, if at all possible. Okay, just a simple mantis ship. They do have a teleporter. No med bay, no clone bay. I'm actually going to board them. Maybe stop them from beaming aboard my ship. They they actually did beam aboard my ship, but they beamed aboard my ship with a NG. So what I'm going to do is mind control their crew. Just because it's a mantis and he can help us attack the other mantis and destroy the, uh, the weapon system here. I'm going to mind control one of the mantises and I'm going to make a safe space for their NG crew member who's boarding me. I'm going to have him try to go into the shield room. I don't know where he is, but if I can get him into the shield room, he can kind of hang out there and damage the shields. He's an NG. He's not going to be, do a very good job at it. I can keep my dodge chance. Got to get him out of the piloting room, but I've got to wait for the oxygen to come back in the shield room. It's not going to happen. It's kind of annoying. Whatever. My NG can kill his NG because I have uh, emer emergency respirators. Shield room is on fire. The fire is going to be put out very quickly. I don't need to worry about that too much. I'm going to shoot on their weapons room, though. With a flak, maybe I can sneak in a couple of shots. Good. Destroy their weapons entirely. Their NG's almost dead. Okay, so we're not going to take any more damage there. That's okay. It kind of sucks that we took, you know, the damage that we did take, but there's not much you can do about that. About that. Their crew is dead. My crew is alive and doing just fine. Let's close out the shield room. Oxygen is at 2%. That's good. I need it to stay low. Again, 20% is the magic number. As long as we don't... As long as we just close like one or two rooms at a time, we're going to be fine. The problem is going to be if we get more crew members because we're going to have to deal with micromanaging the doors and the oxygen. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Okay, nothing. We only have four fuels. So we are going to need to go to a store at some point very soon. Let's get that 5% dodge chance. Just to give us a better chance at dodging incoming missiles and such. Okay, three fuel, down to two fuel now. Kind of getting scary. Uh, we will prepare to chase them, and we don't actually get them. That's okay. Let's go to one more beacon and then go to the store. 
if we had sensors, if we had level two sensors, I think you can track down that rebel ship. Ah, so this is it. Pirate ship arrives shortly after you, judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. If we attack the ship, maybe we can get some cool stuff out of this. And this ship actually cannot damage me due, due to their weapon layout. Single shot laser plus a hull laser, hull beam, excuse me, uh, cannot hurt me. So I can just attack their shields with the advanced flak and then beam aboard their ship and kill their crew. A couple of Zoltans, they're not going to be too much of a problem. They're going to explode and damage my crew, but Stick is actually a pretty good combat personnel person, so hopefully he'll be able to uh, kill them pretty quickly. I'm going to beam aboard their piloting room, get some time two-on-one just for free. Might as well mind control the... Uh, the remaining Zoltan. Get him out of the room so I can do a little bit more combat damage to this one slug right now. Let's hit him in the door. Didn't hit him in the door. Mind controlled Zoltan did kill the uh, did kill the, uh, the slug though. That's pretty good. I want to hit them in the door so I can just move about their ship freely. Now I can. kind of spread around, spread the damage around a little bit and we get a crew member prisoner transport and a single survivor so we get another crew member it's a human we can use him we can close out the engines put him in the engine room and get an, an additional five percent dodge chance it's not too bad it's not too bad uh, this should mean that the oxygen level throughout the ship will be about 12 percent once the oxygen fully comes back into the engine room so it's a little bit you know we're starting to run up <laughs> to that 20% limit very quickly here. If we get any more crew members, you know, the problem is, is that if I close out the shield room like this, that actually has four rooms being closed off. I can't close off the shield room or the weapons room for that matter without it closing off an extra room. So I'd have to put like a Lanius in the shield room or the weapons room in order to keep the, um, to get the bonuses, but not have the like open room penalty or the closed off room penalty. So I don't know, maybe the, um, the other ship type would have been better from that perspective. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We are going to go to the store, though. Buy fuel. I would like to get sensors, but we, you know, don't have anything. I oh, know we do have something to sell. Combat drone and, and emergency respirator. So we're going to sell both of those. We're going to pick up the... Scrap recovery arm. As much as I would like to get the backup DNA bank, we can't afford it unless we sell the pike beam. But the pike beam is kind of our... It's kind of a good gun that I want to keep. What's more important, backup DNA bank or scrap recovery arm? Probably the scrap recovery arm because we can get the uh, our, ships, our ship upgraded a little bit faster. It's a close one though, it's a close one. I could pick up sensors and backup DNA bank, but I'd only be able to buy like two fuel. We're going to get the scrap recovery arm. Gives us 10% more scrap whenever we collect scrap. It's going to make... It's going to pay for itself. Hey, another smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Perfect. We can beam aboard and kill them pretty nicely. Let's beam aboard their weapons room. Mind control their crew, whoever's going to come into the room. This rock man seems like a good choice. And... Rock man's going to take some damage. He's going to leave the room, kill the human and we are going to be able to destroy their weapons. Advanced Flak should be able to hit them in the clone bay, even if it's going to take a minute. Good, they don't have an ion weapon anymore. So you know what? Since they don't have an ion weapon, let's send my crew into the uh, clone bay and take it out. And we did take it out. Lovely. Let's get my crew in there to stop them from repairing it. We don't need to worry too much about mind control. I could mind control them, but... They're just going to die. There's Rockman. And Human. Ugh. I am still trying to micromanage the uh, my crew a little bit. It's a little bit annoying to have to do, but I've got to do it. There. They're dead. Recover the crew. We get a healing burst weapon, which is perfect to sell because it's not very good. Actually, you know what? This is actually pretty good. I can heal my crew between encounters when they're low on HP. So like right now, Stick 
Luan T, I don't necessarily want them to lose combat experience, so why not just spend one missile, get them up to full health, and then beam aboard with two full health Lanias. This is not bad, actually. I am going to use the advanced flak pretty much primarily, but you know what, healing bomb, I'm going to use you. I'm going to try to use you. 38 scrap. Let's get... I mean, I like the idea of getting the mind control upgraded so that we can do more damage with the mind controlled crew member. So let's do that. We're, we're basically doubling down on using mind control as our primary method of destroying enemy ships, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. One drone part for eight fuel. Yes, please. That was a wonderful beacon. That was like 24 scrap worth of fuel. So that's, a, that's a good trade-off. So yeah, these nebulas. I'm, And here's another one. A smuggler, smuggler trying to stay away from the beacons. If you can kill crew... These seem like really good encounters, because you can just get free equipment out of this. And we should get another uh, free thing by killing the crew of this ship. It doesn't need to be a weapon. It could be a crew member, apparently. It could be, a, you know, a drone schematic, like a combat drone or a defense drone. So this seems perfectly acceptable. All right, we're going to board them, mind control them, see what we can do. Oh, we mind controlled the wrong guy. I would have preferred to mind control the Mantis, but NG and the Mantis are going to uh, be fighting each other for a while. It gives me an opportunity to take out the Clone Bay. So hey, that's another strategy maybe for uh, starting in the shield room. Start in the shield room, it's going to keep them there. Mind control one of the crew members, they actually kill him. Yeah, it's not bad. This is going to work out. And they're dead already. That was very easy. And we picked up an anti-ship fire drone, so we picked up a drone schematic. Not bad. It's something we can sell. It is three power, yeah. I don't like that the fire drone's three power. I think it's too much. I think two power would be better. Because it doesn't do hull damage directly, so you have to actually be able to take out the enemy shields and then use a fire drone, but it takes three power. It's a lot of power, you know? I don't know. I think I would prefer if it was less. 21 scrap, nothing really to spend it on. I could get another engine upgrade, but we're kind of running low on power since we're using it all for the mind control system. Okay, just some uh, some mantises. They have a bomb, and even if it's a double laser, it doesn't matter because they can't hurt me, so we're just going to open fire. They're going to try to board me. That's fine because I'm just going to mind control them. I'm actually going to wait for them to board me specifically. Where are they? I think they're in the shield room? Yeah. But that's fine. We can we can kill this guy very easily, very quickly. And he's not going to come back to life because they do not have a clone bay. So this mantis is going to be dead. Good. They can't hurt me with their one laser plus bomb. If they, you know, destroy my shield system, I'm going to have to get someone in there to repair it. If they, you know... Oh, it's an ion weapon too, so that's that's the best, because they can't actually do damage. Their med bay's been destroyed, so we can beam aboard. I'm going to swap the order of my crew, though. They probably have a couple of crew. Yeah, so we're going to mind control. We mind controlled the NG, which is not ideal, but it's good enough because I can uh, keep my crew from being too damaged. Auction's offline, that's why the human is... <laughs> the, the human! That's why Starger here is taking uh, a lot of damage, but he's okay now. I kind of prefer it if I could get the combat kill here, NG. Dang it! Stop it! <laughs> I want to get the kill. I can't bust down the doors either. Ah, that's alright. They dead? No, he he left the room because he was taking too much damage. I can understand that. I can appreciate that. We're gonna have to go in after him. Let him come to us. There he is. And we get another NG crew member. So this is this is the what I was considering, not worried about, but considering. We have a lot of crew members, but nowhere really to put them without running into trouble. Because if I put uh, this NG into the weapons room, that's going to be four rooms that are closed off, and I think that's going to bypass the... It's going to be too high... Uh, 
<laughs> what am I, how am I trying to say this? We're going to have too much oxygen. We're going to bust past the 20% limit for this challenge, basically. The loss of cabin pressure achievement. So I guess I'm going to put the NG on doors. Because that's three rooms that are closed off instead of four rooms. It doesn't mean we have second level doors. If we get boarded, we can close off all the doors. If we get any more crew members, we're going to have a tough time of positioning them on the ship. But, you know, that's kind of just this this challenge run. It's kind of a, a challenge run of you can only have two rooms manned. I guess three rooms. What are those rooms going to be? Okay, a simple, simple ship here. We're going to board them in the weapons room because we can mind control. You know what? Board them in the shield room. Mind control one of the crew. Then leave, go into the weapons room, take one of the weapons offline. They're going to kill the mind-controlled crew member. That seems pretty good in my book. We can even help them along a little bit. Mind-controlled crew member is dead. They're not going to try to uh, attack me at all because of the whole lack of oxygen thing. So I can just kind of come in here and kind of kill these guys a little bit. You know what? Let's let them come to me. There we go. Kind of, uh, you know, make it go in our odds a little bit by having a three-on-one encounter, two-on-one encounter, times two. We get 14 scrap out of it. I just wanted to look. Well, since there's nothing else to do here, we're just going to jump ahead. Rock would be annoying, so I'm actually going to go to another Uncharted Nebula. Rock would be annoying because the Rockmen have a lot of HP, so I would have to really kind of micro my own crew a bit but we picked up a lot of equipment from this sector we picked up uh, a healing bomb a fire drone a human and an ng i think that's pretty good if we can have the same luck on this sector we should be able to uh, make out with a lot of extra equipment and we can go to the store and sell some stuff that we don't want with 44 scrap though i should upgrade something Honestly, I kind of want to save my scrap and upgrade the clone bay again. We don't need weapon power because our crew is fantastic. All right, close all doors, shut off the oxygen, wait until we see where they are. Ooh, man, they are, there's a lot of them and they're pissed. That's fine though. We'll send our Lanius up into the shield room to stop them. They're all suffocating because there's no oxygen aboard the ship, so. Here they all come. Mind control one of them. And they're dead. Get some additional free training. Luan T, almost maximum level. Stick is maximum level. I think I'm going to use a healing bomb. Stick, kind of low on HP. We don't yet have the clone bay upgraded to where I would like it, so... Auctions at 9%. Open all doors, except for these ones, please. Uh, I'd like to keep them alive if I can. And I would also like for Stargur to be a, a part of this healing. So I am going to send the Lanius into the engine room when I fire off the healing bomb. Just because why not? Why not spend the extra couple of seconds and get the free healing out of it? We might need it. You know, if we get boarded again, it would be nice to have all of our crew at full health. Okay, again, I'm not going to spend scrap. I'm going to wait and get the clone bay upgrade. I'm going to attack the ship. They do have a flak gun, but I can probably take that offline pretty quickly here. Drone, anti-drone, that's fine. We're going to board them in the shield room. Mind control one of the crew members. They do have an anti-personnel drone, which sucks, but we have more crew. We are reducing their oxygen. This should be a pretty easy encounter for us. Good, we took out the flak. It did manage to fire once, but we did get enough misses that it's not going to be able to damage us. Okay, my Lanius is getting beat up, so I do need to kind of move my crew around for a second. And this is good. I can attack them in their drone room. I can attack them in their door room, their weapons room. Get them to come and fight me, and as they fight me, kill them. There we go, 18 scrap. I wanted to try to destroy their drone system so that they couldn't uh, get another anti-personnel drone, because that thing takes a lot of punishment to take down. So I wanted to get them in there for two reasons. One, I could bash the drone system, and second, it would also get their crew to come fight me, because there was oxygen in that room. 
I'm gonna use a healing bomb, get them up to full health. They are pretty dang wounded. And also max combat experience. So I don't wanna I don't wanna kill them, revive them in the clone bay, because then they'll not have this uh twenty percent bonus to uh to combat damage. And with the clone bay max upgraded, I feel a little bit more at ease that my crew is not just going going to die miserably. I will arm the weapons. They have a flat gun. We got to take that offline. I got to board them. So we're going to board them in the shield, in the weapons room. Mind control. We're going to have a problem. We are going to take damage here. There's almost nothing we can do to stop that. So let's get the shields upgraded once. They only have the one weapon online, but it's still going to be a problem. I just need to get them out of the weapons room so I can just bash on it, honestly. We're gonna get hit by the flax, so nothing we can do about it. I could get a 20% dodge chance or a guaranteed one absorption on the shields. Okay, keep hitting the weapons room. Gotta hit it a little bit more to take that flat gun offline. Okay, got hit for one. Good, they have no weapons online. This is what I wanted. The crew is also very wounded. I'm, I'm just going to destroy the weapon system. Let's take the time to do this so that they can't bring up bring up the uh, the one power heavy laser or something. Now that that's dealt with, don't need shields. We can bring the auction back online for our crew. Let them come to me. And they should be mostly dead for the most part. Mostly ghostly. Try to get into the auction room, I guess. Can I chase these guys down? There he is. And we pick up 25 scrap. And I don't really need to use a healing bomb because my crew have enough HP that I'm comfortable just kind of letting it go. They'll get 25 HP back. And as long as they don't die on the next jump, then I can always use a healing bomb after the next encounter. This was a pretty, you know, three rock men and it only brought our crew down 45 HP at max, so that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a good sign that we can get our crew, or we can just not heal them now and heal them later. Because if we heal them for 25 and they they take 45 HP of damage on the next encounter, they still won't be dead. Now 45 scrap. What do we upgrade? It's getting to the point where I might want to consider upgrading the weapons, but we still don't really need it, do we? And engines might be good to get, so let's get a little bit more engine power. Actually, let's see if there's anything ahead of us. No. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save my scrap and go to a store. Yeah, let's save my scrap and go to a store. If I can buy a, another system like a, a defense drone, a cloak, I think that'd be pretty good. I will attack the ship. They can easily bust through my shield, so I need to board them very quickly and take their guns offline. The advanced flak is going to have a bit of a problem busting through their shields, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, but since I don't need to worry about my crew HP, since they're immune to uh, low oxygen, I can just kind of stay here for a while and uh, take down their shields, take down the piloting, and then use the flak to kill them once I am confident that they're not gonna, going to damage me. It's also a good opportunity to keep their chain laser online. It fires very quickly, which means I might be able to farm some experience here, honestly. And that would be fantastic for me because I could get some additional uh, dodge chance out of my pilot and engine personnel. I'm not going to send my uh, crew into the shield room for training just because Again, that's four rooms that would have to be closed off, and I don't want to do that, really. So, ch the chain charger? No, this is changed. The chain laser is firing in about seven seconds now, which is good. We're getting some dodges. Three more on the pilot, and we get a, get a bonus to, like, plus two dodge chance, I think? Yeah, five, and then seven, and then ten evasion bonus. And my crew is just going to be destroying the ship. Destroy the shields, destroy the piloting. You know what? Take out the weapons for a little bit. Yeah. I figured they were they would get the ion back online. And I don't want their ion to be online because that means they can actually hurt me. 
just like right there. They actually kept the Ion online now, so you know what? You guys stay there, destroy some systems. I'll send in the flak to kind of finish them off. Chain lasers back online. Keep attacking the weapon system. Bring you back in a second. Like right now. And now we'll just auto fire the uh, the flak. It'll kill him eventually. It might take a few rounds to actually land shots. We took a little bit of damage. We took one point of damage. That's not too bad. We need to actually land shots. If I have to send them over again to take out the weapons, I will. The one chain laser doesn't bother me. It's when they have the chain laser and the ion at the same time. That's what bothers me. Because that's an ion mark too. It can take down any amount of shields if enough shots land. We do have one bar of shields, but that's not going to stop them. Or stop me from destroying them. As long as I only get one hull damage done. Okay, 20 ship plus a system repair drone. Not bad. 82 scrap. We're going to save it. We're going to save it and we're going to go to a store, buy fuel, repair, maybe buy a system. A mantis ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred Urgtnog clan hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up. All right, shields up. They're going to board me. They have a lot of lasers. I would like to deal with that situation as soon as possible. So we're going to board them in the shield room. We're going to mind control, ideally one of the mantises, and then move our crew into the weapons room. Take out one of their weapons, and then we should be fine from uh, any damage here. NG and Mantis are going to be bashing at each other for a while. There we go. And with the weapons offline, I can go into their clone bay, take that offline, and their crew will be dead. Get in one shot, maybe? Yep. Good. Mantis, he's not going to actually try to uh, attack us at all, which is interesting. I'm gonna just go in there and say hi to him. Try to micro my crew HP a little bit by moving him around. Luan T is not gonna be at max health on the next jump, but he's gonna be pretty close. And we picked up a free weapon, an Ion Blast. Not bad, it's a good one power weapon to have because it can break through one bar of shields. It fires in the same time as the advanced flak, which is actually kind of nice because I can just auto fire both of these weapons at the same time. Yeah, so if we can find a store, sell these drones, and maybe buy some uh, weapon upgrades, that might be pretty good for us. I might just want to get some... Is it Nebula? It's a Nebula. I might want to get some uh, shield upgrades and dodge chance, though, because we are kind of taking a little bit too much damage, I think. And there's not much we can do to prevent that except, you know, ideally dodge more. Okay, Rebel ship, one flak, one laser. Uh, I am going to beam aboard into their weapons room. I'm going to mind control one of their crew members. Don't mind control right now. Let them leave, then mind control, then move back in. That way, they attack each other. Okay, because what I was doing before is I would beam aboard. My two crew members would be in the top two cells. I would mind control the person in the room. And that mind control unit would move into the third cell in the room. By leaving and then mind controlling the enemy crew member, he doesn't move so that when they send more crew in to, to fight me, they fight each other and they don't fight me. And I think this is better because it means that I'm going to take less crew damage and ideally I can actually do more damage to them. Their crew anyways. Kill them, get them out of the weapons room, destroy the weapon systems, stop myself from taking too much damage from this encounter. We're gonna get hit for some. We just, we can't avoid it. We got a little bit lucky that we missed the shot right there, or that they missed the shot anyways. As long as they don't hit me with the heavy laser though, because that's the big thing. Shields are wounded, doesn't matter because, uh, we can only power one bar of shields anyways. Oxygen's running a little bit low, but that's okay. As soon as we take out their weapon system, I can divert power. Good. So we can divert power into oxygen and worry about killing the remainder of their crew. And we get a slug, Markel, who's good at engines. Better than Starger, just barely. And... Hmm. And we're, we're running into that problem of having too many crew. 
not enough places to put them. I think Markel's gonna be on engines. Dang, calm down, Storm. You know what I'm thinking I could do? Is put the NG on engines and then have the human and the slug like in the door room and they can be a secondary boarding boarding crew. I can send over the Lanius, then send over the uh, the human and the slug. I mean, it's better than the current situation, which is they don't do anything. So let's do that. Let's put the uh, let's put these guys in the door room. I'll get Jun Peg leveled up on engines, even though I have two crew members good at engines, and then I can have them walk into the teleporter room and beam aboard when I need them. Kinda is gonna suck for a little bit. They're not gonna be very good at, you know, invading. We're gonna have a little bit lower dodge chance, but I think this is for the best because I don't want to close any more doors. I don't want to run the risk of accidentally getting 20% oxygen. Now I could go to the distress beacon. I'm gonna go to the distress beacon. You know what? No, I'm not. If I if they ask for fuel, I can't give them any fuel, so I'm going to ignore it. All right. Hopefully, we can destroy their weapon system weapon systems before they fire. I think we can. I'm actually going to get the ion blast online, auto firing on the weapons because if I can uh, temporarily disable one of their weapons, my Lanius can do the rest of the work. Yeah, like that. I actually don't even need the ion weapon anymore. I can go back to the advanced flak. Oh, <laughs> Let's get the ion weapon back online. I didn't expect them to bring the Hermes missile back online. Hopefully it's not a Hermes, because that means that it would fire very quickly, but we can we can take it offline, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Let's let's destroy their weapon system. Let's not be coy about this. Deal as much damage as we can to it. Advanced flak the rest of their ship. Let's recover them. They don't need to be there anymore. The advanced flak can finish the job. Stick. 79 HP means that he will be healed for 25 when we jump. He'll be at max HP. I don't need to use a healing bomb on him at all. I'm kind of glad they got one more shot off, just in case we got one more uh, skill training off of that. 127 scrap is enough that I can go to a store. There just needs to be a store. There might be one at these two beacons on the far right. So I'm going to jump here, here, see if there's a store, and then jump down to the exit. I have just enough fuel to do that. Okay, 127 scrap. We're going to save. We're going to save, and we're going to go to the store, ideally. There won't be a next time open fire. They have a med bay. They have a teleporter. The good thing about the slug, I didn't realize this until just now, um, we can see the enemy crew composition, so we know what we're going to get ourselves into. So right now, for instance, I can beam aboard the enemy ship. And mind control one of their crew. And as a result, they're not even going to board me. Perfect. Maybe I can take out their uh, med bay before they actually get in here. That would be perfect for me because then I can kill their crew very easily. If not, I can just land in a, uh, a flak shot. Good. Their med bay's destroyed. My mantis did a good job of killing their mantis. And we're just going to kill this mantis as soon as the mind control wears off. And that was a very easy encounter. Yeah, I really like the strategy of moving my crew out of a room. Let's get the auction powered up. Moving my crew out of the room, then using the mind control, because then the mind control personnel will attack the enemies in that room. I like that. I like that a lot. We also picked up a lot of fuel, which I very much appreciate, because we're going to need it. Hopefully there is a store nearby. Mind Control convinced him to make a better deal. There's no reason why you wouldn't do this, except maybe that you can't kill their crew. I think if you Mind Control them, you, you lose the ability to attack the ship. So I'm going to attack the ship. And maybe we can get like a, a special option here where we find the weapon they were going to sell us. We're, we're going to do it anyways. We're good at boarding. Let's board them. 
they have a slug and a human. We're going to board them in the weapons room. Mind control them immediately. Uh, they have a door upgraded, so I can't actually uh, bust through the room. We're probably going to take some damage from the burst laser, but that's okay. I don't mind. Hopefully we get one dodge. Nope. That's okay. Empty room. Their weapons will be offline here very shortly. The burst laser is already offline. Slug is dead. Thank you, mind-controlled crew member. Let's just wound this uh, human while we have him trapped in here with low oxygen. And we'll go chase him down. So easy encounter. We took one point of hull damage. That's not bad. Hopefully we do get a weapon out of this. No, we don't. Okay, good to know. It makes sense that you would be able to see the weapon that they had after you killed the crew, but I can understand it. I didn't want to lose the uh, option of actually, you know, getting rewards by killing the crew, so I, I boarded them. Maybe I should have mind controlled them. I don't know. Sometimes uh, when that happens, you... He, he tells you what the weapon is and how much it costs, so you, it's not just a random weapon. It is a, do you want to spend 45 scrap on this specific weapon? Uh, other times... He just says, oh, I wasn't going to give you a weapon. I was going to, going to steal your scrap and attack you. And then you can either attack him or leave him. I'm not entirely sure how the encounter works. But um, if he if he tells you what the weapon is, I, th I do think that you lose the ability to actually attack them. So I didn't want to lose that chance. You know, because we don't really need too many weapons. We are using boarding and mind control for pretty much all of our damage. With 189 scrap and no store in sight, I am going to upgrade stuff. I'm going to upgrade the engines. And the shields. And I can always micro my power as I see fit. If we find a store, you know, whatever. We can still at least buy fuel, I guess. All right, one ion weapon and one laser. I'm very glad that I dumped the power into shields and engines because we can pretty much be immune to damage on this encounter. I'm going to board them, though, to take their weapons offline. Keep myself a little bit more protected. It looks like this is a 15-second cloak, which is annoying, but not too difficult to deal with. good we're getting some misses as long as they don't auto fire the ions they can't take down our shields and I can take down the weapons very quickly it's only a matter of time basically so keep hammering on the weapons take them down a couple of bars send my crew into the cloak piloting actually ah they cloaked as soon as I said it too that's all right take out their piloting so we don't miss then we can hit them in the cloak and engines and the weapons with my weapons so just a matter of time now. Uh, 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 what do you guys do? <laughs> I don't want to move you over there because I want to hit him with the flak first. But you do do damage, so I kind of want to, kind of want to keep you around, anyways. All right, bring you back. Their cloak is offline. It's not coming back at all. Oxygen level's at 17%. We can keep it here as long as we don't close any more doors, so... Gotta keep an eye on that. You know, there's a there's an FTL nerd joke in there somewhere. Gotta keep an eye on that. Woo! <sighs> Let's jump to the exit, shall we? Two shields is more than enough. I can divert power if I need to. Dock with a refueling platform. Steal the fuel. Three fuel. I don't mind that at all. And going to the Mantis controlled sector is very nice because again, we can mind control one Mantis every time we board and that's going to be a bit of a problem for the enemy, won't it? <laughs> 